So I'm sure you've heard it already. Sig X macro this, Sig X macro that. Heck, even I've made a video on the Sig X macro. But guys, this little gun does something that not too many guns on the market do. So this is our actual review of the Sig Sauer P365X macro. Let's get to work. Hey guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to Work the Trigger. I gotta put the dog away. That's right guys, we are back and we are doing a review of the six hour P365X Macro. The crowning achievement to the not a small gun, small gun world. Now I've been carrying my X Macro for a while now. Um, recently switched holsters over to this Tentacore Sertum holster and um, I like it for the most part. Going off of the video that we had last week, I have a little bit of a difficulty getting this thing in my belt because of the shape of their wedge wing here. Keep an eye out for some variant innovation fixes for that. What is variant innovation, you ask? Well, that is our 3D printed gun accessories company, of course. We make a bunch of stuff, including this, the null adapter for the 17 round P365X macro mags to fit inside the XL frame. Ain't that nifty? But as we're heading to the range today, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the SIG P365X macro. I'm gonna stop saying the whole name now and just call it the X macro, maybe the macro. We'll figure it out. So the X Macro is an oddly placed firearm within the conglomerates of the self-defense market. It is a small gun in that it is only an inch wide ish, a little under actually, very much like its siblings. However, alternately, the grip length is larger, uh, closer to like a P10C. However, unlike the P10C, the X Macro carries 17 rounds of nine millimeter plus one in the barrel. So while people like me, who have been carrying the P10C, which is a good shooting, very accurate gun for years, and just kind of getting over the slightly larger size than something like the Glock 19, now we've got an option that carries more rounds, not quite as comfortable, pretty quick, and actually recoils really nicely. And the reason for that is pretty simple. It's because the X Macro is comped or ported or comped. Nobody can really make up their minds, but what we do know is there are definitely port slots cut in the slide, and the barrel definitely ends before them. So, pick one. But whatever you want to call them, one thing that I can definitively say is they work. Take for example, Paul Harrell reveal, the Springfield Hellcat Pro, which has two less rounds, is pretty much the exact same size, doesn't have those same ports, and I'll tell you, doesn't shoot as nice. A little bit wider spread, a little bit more recoil, and even though the trigger is on paper better, I had a little bit of trigger freeze. The Hellcat Pro is still an excellent gun, and it comes in significantly less than the X Macro, which is unfortunately the X Macro's biggest weakness is its price point of around $800, whereas the Hellcat Pro here can be had for closer to $500. Damn. It also has a nasty habit of not holding open. So why are these small guns, like the SIG here, becoming such a trend? Well, as you remember the last time with our holster video, I talked about comfort. Concealed carry comfort can be in multiple different instances. It can be the comfort of the actual gun itself, the size, the shape, puts a little bit less tension on your waistband, overall weight. It can be how comfortable you are carrying the gun. That would go back to things like printing. Then it can go to how secure you are actually carrying the gun. Now at the X Macro, this is the Hellcat Pro on top. We're not gaining a whole lot by losing those extra two rounds, but what we gain by going up slightly to the X Macro is that little additional muzzle control, which really can make the difference. Because as little as those ports look, they work real well. And that's when you compare it to the Hellcat Pro. Comparing it to something like the Glock 48, which yes, is smaller by about a quarter of an inch in overall height, carries 10 less rounds in its single stack magazine compared to the P365. Add to that, the shootability of the Glock 48, and about the biggest advantage that the 48 has is that the mags are way easier to load. Now, am I saying that the X Macro is the best pistol on the market? No. Am I saying that it is the new hotness and the new baseline? I'm saying that it makes an argument for that. Uh, am I saying it's going to take the market by storm? No. And there's one main reason why. 
I've already touched on it a little bit. Let's talk about it a little bit more. The mainstream concealed carry market has always been and will always be driven by the consumer. And although the consumer's got a lot of choices, one choice that is on every consumer's mind is the price. Now, some budgets might be higher than others, but price and cost is always on the consumer's mind. Whether it's, I wanna get the best value I can get, or I'm going to buy the best thing that money can buy, consumers are always concerned about the dollar. And honestly, in the landscape of concealed carry, $800 for what the P365X Macro provides you to a lot is too much. So again, is the X Macro the best thing since sliced bread? No, but it does its intended purpose pretty darn good. Uh, it is definitely in my book taken, if you don't take price into account, the lead in the big small gun category, which really only has, which really only has like the X Macro, the Hellcat Pro, and I want to say like the Masada 2 M2, uh, their secondary version is, is super thin like this. Um, it's longer, but I need to get one of those to, to test out, but even that one doesn't have the integral compensation. The biggest downside to the X Macro is that barrel length. Uh, because that barrel ends before the comps, you're looking at a barrel length that is exactly the same as a standard 365, so you are going to get some velocity losses in there. We did some testing with a P10S, the, their subcompact version, uh, running between that and then a, a barrel that was about a uh, half inch, three quarters of an inch longer. We did gain 50 feet per second in velocity with that, which... 50 feet per second is not the end of the world. However, it can make the difference if you're running on that lower end. They were generally still supersonic and still well within that realm, but this is going to be even shorter than that, so you may drop into subsonic with the bigger ammo, and the slower a bullet goes, the less likely it is to expand. So do keep that in mind with this. You may want like a mid-grain level, like a 124. Uh, I've not shot plus P's through it, although the higher grain weights will give you that momentum. So I personally would aim like 124s. You can go up to 147s, but you are going to be pretty heavy under supersonic with those. Now, one thing I have forgot to mention thus far is these do all come optics cut. It is the mount base that's compatible with like the RMRC. In this case, we've got the Holosyn EPS carry on here. That is the new enclosed dot microsite and this thing is freaking awesome. So while I rank this thing pretty high up there, uh, not only in just guns in general, but also in the guns that have come out this year. Uh, this is one of my top three guns that has come out this year. I can't really make the call for other people. Now, if this was in the same price range, if this was in like the $600 price range, even $650, I would say save your money and go with this over something like the Hellcat Pro. However, it is not. Because it is substantially higher than that, the decision to spend that extra money is going to be yours, but this does shoot better. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, do me a favor and hit that like button down below. If you like this and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. If you want to help out the channel, you can become a channel member right here on YouTube or head over to variantinnovation.com. Over there, you can find our 3D printed gun accessories. Remember guys, I appreciate every one of you. And until next time, do your research, get informed, and get to work.